we want you to pay attention to the renewed love that you feel, the renewed love that you have allowed yourself to discover because you started out simple. Now, in some ways, this is like just waking up because you are close to being on that high flying disc. So this will be something that will be fun and easy for you. We like that you're here in these physical bodies, but we like even more that you are here focused with us here and now. It's a really nice thing that you have made the decision to play with us about deliberate creation because that's who you are. You are deliberate creators who have come forth into this physical experience with the express intent of focusing harnessing, utilizing the energy that creates worlds and flowing it toward the things that you deem valuable. You could not be better at making those choices because you were born ready to make those choices. And you have divinely come forth with a perspective from self that makes you selfishly motivated and selfishly interested and that is such a wonderful thing because the perspective of self is all that you ever have. You will never be able to understand accurately what anyone else really thinks about anything else or what anybody else really feels about anything else. But when you focus from your point of view and you allow yourself to get some momentum going, others who feel similarly begin to join you and you begin to feel a harmony, a sort of dance of others on the planet. And as they dance with you, you having chosen as your first dance partner, your inner being or the source within you, as others join you in this dance, the momentum of the dance becomes more and more until you begin to consciously be able to observe. You're able to all day long acknowledge the power of your focus. In other words, your ability to create becomes so evident as you apply it more and more, starting at the basis, starting at the beginning, starting after having pushed the reset button. You're up to speed with all of that. You are powerful creators who came here with the intent of creating whatever is important to you. And there are no wrong choices for you. The way that you will discern the things that matter most to you is by making choices and by experiencing the contrast of the choices that you are making. As you deliberately apply the focus that you are so keenly and profoundly capable of, you are beginning to feel what it feels like to harness this non-physical energy that creates worlds. You are beginning to feel the power of your being. And the power of your being feels like a lot of fun. It feels like a tremendous amount of clarity, but it also feels like results. And we never, ever, ever want to ask you or for you to think that we've asked you to leave manifestations or results out of the equation because the way things manifest around you in this world is just more momentum about what you've got going on. So as good things begin happening to you and you begin acknowledging that these good things are happening and you find yourself wanting to repeat and talk about these good things that are happening, you begin to get that momentum going more and more and more and more and more until it's just a given that you're going to wake up and be able to easily achieve your high flying disc. And it's just a given that you're going to be able to wake up and having easily achieved your high flying disc find thoughts that are interesting to you, thoughts that are provocative to you, thoughts that hold your attention, thoughts that make you glad to be alive, thoughts that make you glad to be focused in this physical body, thoughts not just about what's around your immediate vicinity, but thoughts about everything that is around your world because you are the creator of everything that you have access to around this world. It's not just what's happening in your bed when you are there by yourself. It's not what just what's happening in your household with the people you live with. It's not not just what's happening in your community. It's not what's just happening in your nation. It's not only what is happening in your global community. You are a universal player in this creative world. You are a creator that is adding to all that is. And you've come with powerful intent and purpose. 
Our greatest satisfaction is watching you begin to discover a piece of satisfaction and milking it. We want you to consciously recognize that you are a world citizen with a worldview who individually, we're talking about any one of you, has the ability to access the energy that creates worlds and flow it toward anything globally that matters to you and track and calculate the perceivable difference that your attention has made. You have the ability to revive the interest of anyone about anything that is important to you. Our favorite words are clarity, abundance, passion, eagerness, purpose, decisiveness, love, appreciation, eagerness, clarity, love, passion, purpose, decisiveness, eagerness, determination, passion, love, eagerness, purpose, determination. You are powerful beings with powerful energy flowing through you. And you are about to experience the results of that clarity because you're about to maintain it for longer than you have been. That energy that is moving through you is evidence of your relaxed alignment to this that we know to be. We know it must be annoying for us to keep pointing out something that you cannot translate with your physical senses. And what we want you to do is to try to be satisfied with the knowledge that if I can feel it, that then I will soon see it. You've just got to find some way of soothing yourself that since I can feel it, therefore it must be. And if you can accomplish that, the receptive mode just means you're receiving something. So you could be in the receptive mode of what your vortex is offering up or what vulnerability offers. In other words, you're always in the receptive mode. So if you just start there by acknowledging that whatever is occurring to you, whatever thoughts are coming to you, whatever manifestations are happening, they are happening in direct relationship with whatever receptive mode you're in. An easier way of hearing it is whatever mood you're in. So that's elementary, isn't it? In other words, you understand that. You all do, don't you? You understand that. So now let's add another factor to that. And let's call that factor momentum. And let's talk about why momentum happens. Momentum happens because you give your attention to something. You give your attention to something and then something manifests and then you give your attention to something and something manifests and you give your attention to something and something manifests. You have it so good because you're out here on the manifesting edge. You're out here on the edge where whatever you've got going on is showing itself to you moment by moment by moment by moment by moment. You have no excuse to be oblivious about what your vibrational countenance is because the things that are manifesting around you are evidence of what it is. If you are aware of the way you feel and you sort of kind of like that feeling, so you focus there, it will become more and more and more and more and more. You could take any thought of minor importance and you could focus on it and bring it to a place of momentous importance and it would manifest in this day. Every single one of you could do that with anything that is important to you. This is the power of the universe that you've got working with you. This is the power of the focus of source energy that you've got working with you. You have tools at your fingertips. You have the energy that creates worlds flowing through you. You see, you can be or do or have anything, but you've got to break it down in some way that you know that you are doing it. So we would suggest that you pick something that you pick something that is of some importance to you and you decide that you're going to focus on it until you can show yourself in one day you can show yourself how the momentum gathers around that subject in one day from the point of just being able to talk about it to the point of feeling fairly good feeling emotion about it to the point of really feeling excitement about it to the point of it manifesting in one day you can do that you can do that and you do it all the time that's what's so funny about this conversation you do those things all the time you just don't know that you're doing them and so you don't give yourself the credit of focus that you deserve to give yourself the credit of focus
spend more time in the vortex what do you think's in there anyway it's really funny here's this vortex all ripe and ready and really eager well we are the eager ones to show it to you and you're over there saying I don't see it I don't see it I don't see it and we say that's why that's why you got to look where it is and feel like it feels so pick any subject look where you think it might be if you feel that something is lost where you stand and you believe us at all that there is a vibrational version of you then look in the direction of this vibrational you and describe it to us if you feel lost what does found feel like if you feel confused what does clarity feel like if you feel poor what does richer feel like in other words you got to look where you think you are so look there and describe that for just a moment and stop the other I've been doing this I've been doing this how do I get the money out of the vortex and into the bank when does it come to me but you see you can't talk about why the drought is unpleasant and attract the rain you can't talk about what's missing and allow what's missing to be fulfilled you've got to find a way to look at until you allow yourself you see you don't have to build the momentum in the vortex the momentum is already built you ask and the momentum is already gathered and it's huge and ready for you to receive it is it too big for you to receive it no not at all could you get ready to receive it yes are you ready right now no could you get ready yes are you ready now no could you get ready are you ready no do you want to get ready yes you want to get ready so do you believe that there is a vibrational version of things that you want yes and do you think that you could find any words for them or is it just a big murky mess of a mist of little pieces of things that you've thrown into it <laughs> or do you think there's anything in that that you could define and see it isn't easy to go there because you don't have the momentum but we promise you the momentum will come fast you see it's easy to tell the other story because that momentum's there it's easy to say all of those things but it's not how it needs to be what's in your vortex that you would like to define we just want you to find some simple thing that's over there like a state of clarity or any old thing what's there that you want what's there that's missing what's found that you feel lost from what's over there that isn't over here what's over there that you want what's over there what's out there what's up there what is it that you want what do you want that you don't have pick something that you feel close to so when you say I want cars or I want everything and you say how just change that one question to why because the why will hold you in the momentum of your desire longer the how almost every time will take you out of it whenever you ask yourself for an answer that you don't have you lose your connection but when you ask a question that leads you further in the momentum of your desire it allows the momentum of the desire to go further did you hear that